Spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, the Universal Hip Hop Museum is well on the way. They're getting closer to the grand opening. Yesterday, there were some hip hop legends at where the Universal Hip Hop Museum is. And amongst those legends, Nas, LL Cool J, Fat Joe, Little Kim, Naughty by Nature, Grandmaster Flash, Slick Rick, Michael Bivens, from Belle Biv DeVoe, uh, Public Enemies, Chuck D., EPMD, so many different people were out there. They were also with the Bronx Borough President, Ruben Diaz Jr., and Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty, and uh, City Council Member Diana Ayala, and other city officials. Here is what LL Cool J had to say. Hip hop made me believe that anything was possible. It was the first time that I heard, you know, young black men sound empowered. Most of the time when I saw young black men, they were like, had their heads down being put in a police car. You know what I'm saying, to be honest. So this was like the first time where I felt like, wow, like it's possible to be powerful. It's possible to be somebody. It's possible to have meaning in this world. In addition, Nas spoke. The beat started in Africa, it went through Puerto Rico, it went through the Caribbean, and they tried to take the drum hundreds of years ago because that was our form of communication. Guess what? That drum just turned out to be one piece of the science we bring to this planet. This thing today is like a dream come true. I was a kid playing with G.I. Joe and then thinking about what was my life gonna be. But when I saw Run DMC, it took my soul. The storytelling is beyond Shakespearean with Slick Rick and it taught me more than schools taught me, believe it or not. I could be biased, but I think uh, hip hop is the greatest genre of music, greatest culture ever. It is, and well-deserved. That museum is well-deserved. I, I don't know if you guys ever stay at the Hard Rock, and if you stay at the Hard Rock, you see all these guitars from rock and roll people, and you see all these things from pop people, and I always wondered, damn, how come you, there's nothing representing hip-hop that much? So I'm glad we have a spot and a space that, that represents our culture that we can take our kids to and go visit, and people can always see you know, the, the, the culture. And what culture transcends uh, so many generations, so many demographics, so many races, like think about how any and everybody embraces hip hop, dresses mm -hmm. it, talks it, listens Absolutely. to it. There's no other culture that's like that. All right. Well, yes. Yeah, so we got to make sure we go out today, and also, of course, the National Museum of African American Music too, which is open. All right. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott are back together, but they are having an open relationship. It's not exclusive. According to sources with direct knowledge, they told TMZ they have rekindled their old flame. They're dating again, but they're also free to date other people. So. They said they broke up back in 2019. They got back together. They wanted to be a strong family unit, but they decided to do a non-exclusive couples arrangement, and they're cool with that. Y'all better than me. My ego is way too fragile for anything like that. Yeah, I mean, they're both young still, too. So maybe they're, yeah, just, being, for maybe they're just being realistic. Because it's better than being with somebody and cheating, right? I'm, I'm, you... Hey, I'm not knocking them. I'm just telling you how fragile my ego is. I'm telling you, <laughs> I couldn't handle something like that. Because you're so little. Man, shut up. I, you, by, by the way, you so beige. <laughs> okay? You so wow. beige. I know you, you, I know you couldn't handle Winter. anything like that. What is wrong okay? with you? You just jumped out the box. Yeah, you, you think so Envy could handle that? What? He said you're little, so I think so. No. Okay, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Continue. <laughs> Touche. All right. Nick Cannon is allegedly expecting another child. We don't know if this is confirmed. This is the rumor report. But uh, it's from a Wild and Out model, Alyssa Scott, and she posted some pregnancy photos, and she captioned it, Zen S. Cannon. And then somebody said, is Nick Cannon the dad? And then she added him back and put all these emojis with the little um, uh, hearts on her face. So we don't know if this is true or not. I mean, she, the baby's last name is Cannon. You know, I'm, she, Listen, I'm, all, on, I'm here for a good rumor. How, how, many, how many would that be for Nick? All right, so we know that he has the twins with Mariah, right? Two. And then he mm -hmm. has Brittany Bell, who he had a uh, daughter with last year, and they have Three. a son as well. Four. And then he has twins on the way with DJ Five, Abby six. De La Rosa. Six. So if this is indeed true, Zen S. Cannon, Zen S. Cannon would be the seventh. That's God's Woo. number. Drop on the clues, bonds for Nick Cannon. All right, Nick Cannon. Hey, he can afford him. That's right, seven. Woo.
And if this country would just legalize polygamy, then, you know, he could probably have them all together. <laughs> have all I'm serious. <laughs> you know, it's complicating things this Western civilization is. Well, it could be an open relationship situation as well, right? Uh, you know, somebody's open. Seven kids. <laughs> all right. Now, Tory Lanez, his new foundation uh, that he's setting up is going to be for women with small businesses. And he said it's named after his late mother. It's called Luella's Way. And he said this will truly change lives and create tons of business opportunities for strong business-minded women. Much love. We're almost there. So we'll keep you updated on that and how you can apply to get some uh, finances from Tory Lanez's new foundation. And Byron Allen is suing McDonald's for $10 billion in damages. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Byron always suing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the frosty I love machine it. ain't working, man. Go I ahead. respect it. Byron is always suing somebody. What's, what's happening with McDonald's? Well, he's alleging racial discrimination because of their advertising practices. Now, you know, he owns 12 television networks. His weather group owns the Weather Channel. Mm -hmm. But he says that they have refused to advertise on Entertainment Studios Networks or the Weather Channel since he acquired the network in 2018. He also says that McDonald's gives African-American-owned media less than $5 million of its roughly $1.6 billion annual television advertising budget. Wait a minute. You can sue somebody if they don't advertise with you? For racial discrimination. Not just him, but if he's saying that they only give $5 million of their $1.6 billion annual television advertising budget, even though we represent 40%, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of McDonald's commercials growing up in my life. I, I don't know what channels they were on, but I don't know. Now, this uh, lawsuit actually comes the same day that McDonald's announced their initiative to increase its advertising dollars in diverse owned media companies and content creators. So now they're going to spend 10 percent of their advertising budget on businesses owned by black, Hispanic, Asian, Pacific American women and LGBTQ platforms. Do we want from 4 percent? Do we want McDonald's advertising to the black community to eat more McDonald's? I mean, no. I mean unless they got healthier options. Yeah, but they, if they're spending billions across the, the country with all these other different formats. Um, and, we're, and we're consuming the majority of it. Don't you think they should give the money back to our community? Yes, I'm all for the advertising dollars, but I also wish that they would be pushing more healthier options uh, to, 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 to people, period, but definitely in black and brown communities. I mean, come on, that's what a food desert exists. They got salads. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and they have fruit. Remember, they, playing, don't I'm they not, have with I'm the not, kids' meals that comes with fruit? I'm not talking yeah, about apple salads. slices. And I don't know apple where this could go with Angela. Yet. Okay. <laughs> What? You don't like fruits and salads? <laughs> he loves salads. All right, well, that is your you might be a report. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that? Uh, about, about me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you said about me. Okay, all right. Both All right, now when we come back, we got front page news. But before we do, let's get into this joint. We talked about oh, it yes. earlier. It's Little Baby and Kirk it. Franklin. All right, this is off the Space Jam 2 soundtrack. Front page news is next at The Breakfast Club. Let's go. 